Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. This is the Yesu FT991 Alpha. You've all seen it. You know what I'm talking about here. But the reason I like this radio uh, coming out of the out of the uh, technician exam, passing the technician exam uh, almost three years ago, the reason why I like this radio is that I knew ham radio was going to be expensive. Uh, being an amateur was going to be expensive. There's always stuff to buy. Even if you're an 11 meter guy and you collect uh, CB radios, uh, it's an expensive hobby one way or the other. Uh, but it doesn't have to be, of course. But um, as a technician, brand new technician right out of the box, and I knew I wanted to get a big, big boys radio, let's put it, put it that way. Uh, the reason why I like the FT991 Alpha that it's all mode, all band, all the time. And uh, that was a great, great benefit. Uh, it had six meters, which technicians have uh, full privileges on there. It has your two meters and your 440. Uh, let's go down here. So you have your two meters is your 144, your 430 there. That's your 70 centimeters. Uh, and you have your AM, your FM, your upper sideband, your lower sideband, and your C4 FM, your CW modes, your data modes, and your RIDI uh, modes as well for FT8 or FL Digi or whatever, and data for FM as well. So it had everything in this one little complete little package, and that's why I liked it so much. Um, you know, sometimes uh, I could have gone the route, I guess, and gotten a uh, a striker uh, radio, a striker of say a nine fifty five, which has ten meter. And as a technician, you have uh, you know CW and data and uh, upper sideband privileges up to two hundred watts. So a striker nine fifty five would have done that for me, but then I'd still have to have either an HT, which everybody usually starts out with as a technician for two meter and 70 centimeter, or maybe just get a mobile rig like the uh, Anytone, which is also two meter and 70 centimeter. But I wouldn't have, I would only have FM. This is an FM radio, that one is as well. But I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have sideband. Well, I'd have sideband for uh, the striker, but I wouldn't have sideband on uh, which we also have privileges for AM, FM, and sideband and CW on two meter and 70 centimeters. Uh, but this radio does that. This radio does that. So, and also six meter, then I would have to get a six meter radio uh, that does uh, FM, you, you know, a choice, right? You have a choice, you, either FM or sideband or AM. I mean, what are you gonna do? But this radio, like I said, if I go to uh, mode, does all that. So I got it right now on uh, six meter sideband frequency. That's a calling frequency. That would be upper sideband. And there you go. So I have that. And uh, yeah, so I don't have to have a, even though I have a bunch of different radios around, as you can see, uh, you know, this one does everything I need uh, as a technician, you know? So there you go. And also, also, let me go to band here. Uh, technicians have privileges on 15 meters, which would be your 21 button there, in the CW portion for Morse code. And uh, where else? Where else? They also have, uh, if we go where the 3.5 is there, that would be the uh, 80, 80 meter band uh, for CW. You also have privileges there. If we go where the 7 is, as a technician, you also have privileges uh, for CW Morse code on the 40 meter band. So that's all good and done. The only thing that this radio doesn't have uh, band wise is uh, which we all kind of dislike if you're into uh, the 1.25 meter band, which is the 220, 222 megahertz. Uh, most of the radios that uh, are modern nowadays that are all in one exclusive, you will not find the uh, the 220 band in there only because uh, I believe it's just this country, the United States, and uh, one other country in the world that that uh, has those privileges. So I guess radio makers don't think it's uh, uh, you know uh, marketable. I guess I, I don't I don't understand why, but that's that's the case. 
Uh, but anyway, this does, once you upgrade to general, advanced, well, a general or uh, amateur extra, or if you're, an old, if you're an older gentleman or lady who's an advanced, uh, this does 160 meters uh, all the way up to 70 centimeters, minus the 1.25, as we mentioned. Uh, so really, really cool. So that was uh, one of the choices. It was either this or the uh, ICOM 7100, which is a mobile rig, but also couldn't be used as a, as a desk rig. Um, I was also, what else was I looking at there? Um, those were the two. At the time when I was a technician, Yesu was still making the uh, a mobile, uh, what was it? The, uh, the, eight, eight, the FT-857 Delta, I believe. And you could still get them uh, on the used market, a swap and shop or eBay or something like that. But uh, that was another option as well. But uh, I figured if I was going to spend the money, I might as well just do it, right? And, uh, you know, at least have uh, capabilities. Let me get out of here. Capabilities and uh, to be able to use the bands that I was allowed to use and have it all in one radio. So 100 watts on HF and uh, up to 50 watts on 2 meter and 70 centimeter. Uh, really great radio. Really love it. So anyway, that's the uh, general portion there, but we can, uh, let's go here to our calling frequency. Uh, what is it, 400? There we go. And there we go, and there we go. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys, this is my Cricket 113, and the uh, reason why I got it, the FT991 Alpha as a technician. All mode radio. Everything you need right here in the box.